Alright guys, we're doing it. We are lapping the Nürburgring, the Green Hell, the Nordschleife, or whatever you want to call it. We are lapping it in a four transit, trying to beat Shabin Smith's lap record of a 10 minute 8. It's such a long lap. Um, yeah, if it all goes wrong on one lap, we've got to go all the way around, finish that lap, to go around again. Um, so, yeah, it's important we don't muck around too much and just try and get a try and get a decent lap in and just try to keep on improving on that. I've not done this track in well over two or three years. Um, yeah, so I don't literally know any of the corners apart from two. We're just going to have to crack on, learn the, learn the track as best we can and just see what we can do. See if we can beat that lap record or maybe even beat the lap record she was trying to get anyway. So going through into the chicane section here and we've just absolutely clouted the wall the tyre barrier and here we're just under braking didn't know where our turning point was and yeah we've gone through the gravel trap and straight into the barrier here we just break a bit too uh, late and the, the understeer in this transit it's expected but Christ it is bad <laughs> so yeah that put us wide into the onto the grass uh, we've lost all our speed and yeah that's that lap buggy still on lap one now and uh, going through into the blind um, right hand of double two apex and just clouted the wall there uh, yeah this lap is yeah been brilliant so far definitely uh, down into the um, downhill section right hander left hander and we've just outbraked ourselves yeah not good at all really uh, uphill now Pretty, pretty boring sector. It's just it's so long. Left right hander now. Bit wide there. Not, not too bad though. Uh, just getting a bit of wheel spin there. Just coming out of the right hander. Second right hander. Go a bit deep. Um, we're onto the grass. Avoid the barrier though, which is which is an improvement. Rubbing along that curb there. Um, but yeah, carrying on now. Here, yeah. yeah wide again and um, we just yeah clout with the barrier yeah we're struggling with the brakes um they're not great uh the balance of the car is absolutely tragic we get so much understeer um not just that we're just not used to the track we don't know where our braking points are um we're getting better with the turning points but yeah we're still we're still amateur at best on on, on this track so yeah coming into this chicane section here we've massively outbraked ourselves i'm surprised it didn't go into the wall to be honest with you uh, and this is to finish our first lap off um what is it going to be it's obviously going to be absolutely dreadful to get there on the last corner uh run up to the line now uh what's it going to be it's obviously going to be dreadful uh we're already 10 minute 30 10 minute 35 10 minute 35 that is absolutely terrible i remember thinking at this minute are we even going to even get close to Shabin's lap of a 10 minute 8 but nevertheless we carried on so much better through that section there um, but yeah it just tightens up through that left hander and it's so hard to just get that van turned in and not to brake um, whilst turning because brake whilst turning the van's just going to snap on you and yeah you're going to be ploughing into the wall really so um, yeah, coming to the end of lap two, uh, a bit better through there, not as wide, but we still outbraked ourselves a little bit. And um, just breaking into here, we're just trying to carry too much speed, and we end up still running very wide that corner. But yeah, coming on to lap, coming on to lap three now, and a massive improvement there, a massive improvement of 17 seconds. So yeah, the target is definitely within reach. Um, but yeah, we definitely need to carry on to try and get this record. Wide there, and straight onto the grass, lose the, lose the van, um, and yeah, onto the other, onto the other grass section there. So not good at all there. Coming into this section here, we've clapped with the barrier again. Um, it is so hard to just dial in a lap here when it's ten minutes long, let alone to get a good lap time on a track that's only one minute thirty seconds long. Um, rather than a 10 minute lap so coming on to coming on to the end of lap five now it's not been the best lap but it's been definitely a massive improvement um i definitely think we're going to beat it this time and coming on to 10 minutes now it's going to be really close 10 minute one 10 minute two 10 minute three and what's going to be it's a 10 minute 5.1 which is definitely so that means we've actually beat the record but i wasn't going to stop here i was so adamant i could get i could beat the 10 minute barrier what sabine's tried to do 
but she was unable to do. Um, I've seen a lot of people on YouTube do it, but you look at you look at their um, speed down the back straight, and they're getting almost like 180 miles an hour, and my trans is only getting uh, 110 at most. So that just goes to show they've up, they've upgraded their transit, which is uh, not what Sabine was able to do. She uh, did it in stock transit, and this is what we're doing. We've got no setup either, um, which definitely isn't helping us with the balance and the understeer that we've, that we've, that we've got the minute. We're carrying on. Um, this is also a no assist lap, so I'm doing it with no traction control, no the ABF, uh, no braking lines. You can tell it's not on the screen. Um, Whereas a lot of people are using the assist, not official to be using that, especially around this track, as not a lot of people know the track off by heart. So um, braking line really, really helps around here. Um, I've never been one for using assist, so um, yeah, I'm trying to do this legitly as possible. Uh, so yeah, this is our best lap of the um, of the day. I did this for about um, almost two hours now, so it's just taking so long. I kept on making mistakes and it's taken forever to get around the track to start another lap and it's just it's just so annoying so anyway breaking down this is the chicane section here and um, we've actually not got out of the barrier for once so that's definitely an improvement um, not the best line through there but it was okay this first sector as it was just really flowy I could push the van a little bit um, I was struggling a bit with these chicanes because of obviously the body roll of the van leads to me struggling and breaking the straight line uh, so I always lost the um, front end of the van and yeah, it's just really hard to turn in. So this is going to be a um, full lap, as this was my best lap. You can see during the lap, I do make a few mistakes, um, mainly just breaking just a little bit too late and running wide. I definitely think I could have um, improved a couple of seconds at least. But it was getting it's getting on now, and I was just getting a bit bit bored of um, driving this transit around. As it's just so slow, and um, it's obviously not the best fun once you've been done it doing it for a couple of hours now so coming down this back straight now this is um this is the fastest section on the um on the lap uh top in 117 miles an hour there fun um i was fully locked on the wheel to try and get it around there uh pretty much full throttle just a little dab off but um, once you straighten up for this cor for that corner just being um, you're heavily on the brakes and I still went wide but it's you get away with it because it's obviously it's got a double apex and get the cut back on the on the second one it's going um, down this downhill section here breaking for this left hander, hander where I cut the barrier many times and then it's this right hander which I've Always gone onto the grass on, so it, was, it wasn't the best line through there, but it was it was definitely an improvement. And into this tightening up left hander, which I always struggled with, but not too many problems through there. So um, carrying on the lap now. And then this corner is really fun here, similar to um, similar to the fast section again. Um, just dab off the throttle and then heavily braking here. I was always taking different lines through there as um, just couldn't get the van turned in. Uh, I was either taking a really shallow corner or a really wide corner. Neither were really that great, but that was okay through there. And then that's flat. This is all flat, and then this is a really blind corner. Um, you think you can take it almost flat, but you can't. There's uh, three apexes on this corner that you need to that you need to clip to maximise speed through there. Um, so you make sure you do that. Breaking downhill here. This is also another hard corner. As I always was going wide down that downhill section, you have to break so early. Here wasn't too bad, this is quite a nice section through here. And into this nice uphill right hander, you can almost take flat, but just a little dab off the throttle um, if necessary, just to get that turn in, that rotation. And 
and that's all flat through there, that hill section. And here I made a massive mistake. I misjudged my braking massively, went very wide, probably lost about three or four tenths through there easy, maybe even more, and then up this uphill section here. But I was really annoyed about that. I thought I was actually going to clout the wall, but I managed to um, manage to save it. These uphill sections are quite boring when there's nothing, there's no corners because it's uphill. You've obviously, it's obviously you're not going to get the, you're not going to get as much speed as you would on a downhill straight or either straight itself. But yeah, we're literally not even halfway through the lap yet. So just goes to show how much concentration um, goes into doing a lap like this. Um, but I wasn't concentrating too much on the time. I was just trying to make sure I kept it on the tarmac. And um, yeah, through here, all, all up this hill section here, it's all flat um, until you get to this um, penultimate corner before the carousel section. This is all uphill braking, which isn't too bad, but this was a nice corner as. Yeah, you get a bit of wheel spin up there as it's just uneven and just getting on the power too early there. You can minimise it by just being a more, bit more ease on the throttle, but getting into this section here, the carousel is so uneven. There's so many different patches of tarmac here and it's just, it's really hard through there. It's really challenging to pick your line. I took a more shallower line, I thought that was better, but I've seen people take a wider line into there preference um, I just thought it was just better for me to do that but everyone knows that corner is such a fun corner one thing I did like about this track is it's just it's just natural this section it's just it's just been left from for years and around a lot of race tracks you you'd never have that as you wouldn't get away with it go into this section now we're almost six and a half minutes into the um, into the lap and um, despite having done a uh, few laps running up to this, um, it's still really hard to piece together the exact time where you should be braking, the exact time where you should be turning in, um, uh, and just getting on the throw. And a lot of this, a lot of this section, like as in there, I could have got away with um, just just um, coming off the throttle and not braking. But here I was being really cautious because I crashed there the previous lap, um, so I was just really cautious through there. Uh, here, that was right on the limit. I was quite happy with that, but um, that section here, I could have probably taken a lot more speed into there. But I just wanted to finish the lap. down into the downhill section this is all flat no need to break for this here I did break but you can get away with just coming off the throttle and just coasting car around there um, I've done that previous lap so I don't know why I broke I just wanted to just make sure this lap was as clean as possible I didn't make any didn't make as many mistakes as I had in the previous laps But that's all flat through there. Then into this corner, you think you can take it flat. In a lot of cars, you can take it flat, but in this, you need to break and you need to get that. You need to judge that turning point almost to perfection, as you will cloud the wall. Section now, it's like a mini carousel section where there's uh, different patches of tarmac, but it's quite nice through there. I wasn't as happy as I've been doing. Um, previous to that I was uh, taking that corner in fourth gear and hugging that inside line which um, I wanted to get that lap but I couldn't make it anyway this is all flat here now all up into the uh, back straight and then onto this massive straight where you can do virtually do nothing apart from just stay on the throttle and just try and keep your van straight on this is where the um, around the actual track the start finish line is, but on Forza it's not. 
but we're coming, coming up to the last three corners now, the chicane section, and into the right-hander, and then that's the lap, I'm going to find out what we've got. So here, like I said, um, I'm, I was getting 110, 111 mile per hour, whereas a lot of people are getting 150 plus miles an hour. They're using upgrades, and they're using the setup. And then we just skipped on to this um, chicane section here, really flowy, really fast, we flat through there and then into this right hander and I still went deep, I was a bit annoyed about that, I could have hugged the inside a lot more but coming into this right hander where I've been going deep previously a lot and it wasn't too bad through there uh, a bit of wheel spin out but coming to the line now and what is it going to be on and it's going to be a 10 minute 2.8 I was a bit annoyed about that, I think I could have brought, broke the 10 minute barrier but the whole point of this video was to beat Shabin Schmidt's lap time. So you need to try and beat the 10 minute barrier in the transit again. Um, then remember to smack that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and comment down below um, any other video suggestions you guys like me to do. But that's been today's video. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later. Peace.